Feel them pulling away? Do this. I'm gonna explain later. Guys, I'm Jake Maddock. I've coached thousands of people. I'm a relationship coach. My goal in life is to help as many people as I can achieve a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna show you how to do it. In this video, I explain what to do when you feel them pulling away. Now, we've all had that experience in relationships where you feel like you're having a bad day. You feel like they're pulling away, they don't like you too much, and you start thinking, you start overthinking. You start overthinking, super easy to overthink. You start overthinking, thinking, is this person angry at me? Do they not like me very much? Did I do something wrong? What, how do I fix this? And you start going into fix mode. You go, oh, well, what can I do? Do I need to apologize? Do I, what did I do wrong? How do I, how do I get them to like me again? I really like this person. They, I, you know, I don't want to fail. You start overthinking, start spiraling, okay? We've all been there. Not effective, not effective. Fears and insecurities get exacerbated and they also lead to more overthinking, which turn into self-sabotaging. Okay, and then you start acting crazy and things start getting really bad really fast. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. If you start to overthink, what I want you to do is ground yourself in the facts, okay? So if you feel your partner pulling away or being a bit distant one day, stop for a second and go, well, hold on a second. What's actually happening? Is he stressed because of work? Is he stressed because of money? Did I actually do something which pissed him off or is he just stressed about something else? What can I do? How has been the last 24 hours between us? Well, last 24 hours has been really good. Everything went great, very affectionate and intimate, good conversation. It just seems he's pulling away today, but maybe, maybe it's something to do with work, something to do with something else. Yeah, so you ground yourself in the facts, all right? If you're worrying and overthinking about something, but you don't know what it is, that's overthinking. You're not grounding yourself in the facts. You're getting fearful and worried about something you have no idea about. So you want to relax for a second, okay? Don't act super crazy, because that's going to add more stress on his plate and it's going to make him like you less. If you start annoying him, and going, you don't like me, you don't love me anymore, why aren't you treating me well? And start overwatering that and start being really negative, he's going to pull away more. He's going to go, I'm already stressed at work and now you're applying this on my plate, I don't want to deal with this. And you start, and the guy starts backing away. It's really bad, okay? So if he's already stressed, you're not going to add more stress to his plate. What do you do? How do you bridge that gap when he starts pulling away? If a guy seems stressed and it's probably because of work or money or just many of the life stresses that we all have, you don't want to get him to talk about it, okay? You need to distract and put joy into his life, okay? So you'd want to say stuff like, hey honey, let's go for a walk. I just made you a piece of chocolate cake. Let's do a 20 second hug. Let's be intimate. Let's do something. You want to do something that's totally unrelated. Let's watch some cartoons, let's watch a movie, let's have a drink. You wanna change the subject, change it up, and move forward, okay? He needs to handle his own life stresses, and he will, okay? Don't ground yourself in it by being more negative. That's a common mistake a lot of people make, and if you're a girl and you feel him pulling away and you say, you don't love me, why don't you give me any compliments, you're not giving me any reassurance, you're a jerk, he's gonna pull away even more because now he's stressed at work and now he's stressed in his relationship and it's just negative upon a negative upon negative. As you can see, it gets pretty bad pretty fast. Remember girls, your job and your feminine energy is to be joyous, caring, nurturing, all those sort of beautiful traits, okay? Joyous. Your, your job realistically is to be his joy, to be his sunshine in his otherwise cloudy world, okay? You gotta be his joy. How happy and positive are you? Because that's gonna make him feel more happy and positive. If you're being negative and he's already stressed about something else, it's gonna be super negative. And that starts to self-sabotage and it's gonna cause attraction to go down, okay? So if you feel him start pulling away, you gotta step really in that feminine energy, be super, super positive and distract. Now, a lot of people think oh, a piece of chocolate cake, isn't that kind of stupid? I feel great after a piece of chocolate cake, <laughs> okay? Be aware, if you're making him a piece of chocolate cake every day, it sort of loses its power a little bit. Okay, I can't remember the last time I had a piece of chocolate cake. It should be a fairly rare treat that you're eating a big, thick piece of chocolate mud cake, okay? It should be pretty rare, okay? So it makes most people feel fantastic, all right? It's about doing something nice. It's about, you could call that love languages if you want. Everyone loves food, everyone loves gifts, physical touch, spending time together, acts of service. Most people love all the love languages. They're all positive, okay? Do stuff. Okay, be aware if he seems stressed and you think to yourself, okay, 
I'm going to clean the house for him. There's a very high probability that he won't care about that. Okay. So you might get home and go, well, look how much I do. I'm underappreciated. I clean the whole house for you. You don't even care. That's right. He doesn't care. You clean the kitchen for him and he goes, oh, cool. He doesn't care. Why? Because why would he care about that? He doesn't, he doesn't care about that. Okay. You did that for you because you're thinking about what you would like, not what he would like. What would he like? Massage, sex, 20 second hug, go to a fun place, an arcade or something, watch a movie, eat a piece of cake, have a drink, whatever. What would he like? He would like all those things more than if you cleaned the house, for example, okay? So just be aware, what you wanna do is do what they want to make them feel appreciated and loved and pull them out and be their joyous sunshine energy, yeah? But it's very important you don't go super negative and add more stress onto the plate. That is very ineffective and that's not gonna work at all, okay? That's not gonna work at all. And remember, a big part of feminine energy is about you being, your, your job is to make him stronger, not weaker. So you don't wanna give him a shoulder to cry on. A very popular thing a lot of women do is they try to fix the situation and go, oh, he's having a bad day. What's, what's wrong with your day, honey? Tell me about your day. And you give him a shoulder to cry on. That's gonna exacerbate it. It's gonna make it worse. He's gonna start treating you like his mum. It's gonna get the problem worse and worse. You're giving him a shoulder cry and you're being sympathetic instead of encouraging. Don't be sympathetic, be encouraging. It's a very, very large difference, okay? So never give him a shoulder to cry on. If he says, oh, I had a bad day at work, my boss is being a jerk, blah, 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 whatever. Say, okay, what are you gonna do about it? That's your exact sentence. Any women watching this, that is your exact sentence. What are you gonna do about it? It automatically pushes him into his leadership type energy, pushes him into his decisive energy and he goes, yeah, what am I gonna do about it? How can I fix this? How can I achieve what I wanna achieve? Yeah? And you start thinking, okay, what are you gonna do about it? Say it in a nice way, don't go, well, what are you gonna do about it? Say, okay, what are you gonna do about it? Just nice, okay? It'll automatically push him into his masculine energy and it's gonna make a huge difference. And by just doing that simple question, of using that feminine communication, it's gonna make him far, far stronger and better at dealing with problems, okay? You want a strong, masculine, confident man, it requires a lot of your feminine energy as well. So be aware of that, okay? If you're a woman watching this, you have to embrace that feminine energy. It's gonna make him stronger, okay? And it's gonna make a very large difference. Now in saying that, if you're really feminine, he's really masculine, will he still occasionally pull away? He's not gonna be super affectionate, super romantic Casanova 24 seven. He's not, he's got other stuff to do. He's got work, he's got his goals, ambitions, hobbies, friends, he's got a lot of stuff, okay? He's got a lot of stuff, so at times he's not gonna be super affectionate, okay? Now be aware, he should well and truly fulfill your bare necessities very easily and more, okay? But if you need that sense of reassurance and love really strongly 24 seven, you need to get a little bit of a life. What does that mean? Do hobbies, do hobbies, okay? You have to live your life. If your life 100% revolves around your partner, you're not a well-rounded individual, okay? So I want you to do social hobbies, it's really important. What's a good social hobby? I love karate, I'm learning how to fly a plane. Toastmasters is a good social hobby as well. A social hobby is a social, is a hobby you do with other people okay, who you wouldn't normally hang out with, okay, and it's a hobby, it's fun, okay. Martial arts is absolutely fantastic. I think everyone should do some type of martial art, okay, and I think everyone should do Toastmasters for a short amount of time, be really good at public speaking, it's such a lot, a lot of fun. Do those few things, guys, that's gonna make a big difference. It's gonna allow you to live your own life, okay, it's gonna make you a well-rounded member of the society, community, and it's gonna make you more fun, you're gonna have a life. You're not just waiting at home, doing nothing. Live, do something. Very, 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 very important, okay? So guys, now you know what to do if he pulls away, okay? Don't go too far in, don't go too far out. A big thing a lot of people do is when one person pulls away, then they pull away, and they pull away, and they pull away, and then suddenly you haven't talked in a week. So stupid, <laughs> so dumb. Even in the early dating stages, and you don't live together yet, obviously, and you're dating and one person pulls away a little bit, don't pull away, stay consistent 
with who you are. Don't pull away, okay? If they wanna pull away a little bit, that's fine. If, they, if you sense them in the early days stage of starting to pull away a bit, see them in person ASAP so you can show them your beautiful feminine charm and how absolutely gorgeous you are. Show off your feminine traits, be cute and affectionate and intimate. He won't be able to get enough, okay? But it, that's all positive, positive energy, no negative energy. Okay, if you're in the early dating stage, you go, why aren't you calling me? Why aren't you talking to me anymore? Don't, don't you like me? He's gonna go, yuck. It's a huge turnoff. Don't do that, you must be positive, okay? So if you're feeling pulling away a bit in the early stage, just say something like, send him a message, hey, just thinking of you, cutie, I can't wait to kiss those lips again, had so much fun the other night, you're awesome. Super positive, he'll read that and go, yeah, she's great, all positive. That message sounds a lot better than, oh, I miss you a lot, why don't you talk to me much anymore, it seems like you don't like me very much, all this self-deprecating, self-sabotaging type language. Don't do that, it must be positive, okay? Now I know that's gonna be a big game changer for a lot of you women out there. That one is huge, make sure you do that right. Guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, please leave a comment, share it with your friends. I appreciate a lot of you like the video. And look, if you have any questions, go down below, click the link, book in a call. I wanna help you, I've coached thousands of people, I wanna help you too, okay? You can do it, everyone can achieve a 10 out of 10, we just gotta make sure you do it right. With my help, you will achieve a 10 out of 10, I guarantee it. See you guys.